Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is about health complications in preterm babies. First, what is a premature baby? A premature baby is one who is born too early, before 37 weeks of pregnancy. Your baby's healthcare provider may use this term to describe your baby's birth. Late preterm, your baby is born between 34 and 36 completed weeks of pregnancy. Then moderately preterm, baby is born between 32 and 34 weeks of pregnancy. Very preterm, baby born at less than 32 weeks of pregnancy. And then extremely preterm, in this your baby is born at or before 25 weeks of pregnancy. Now what are the risk factors for premature birth? Often the specific cause of premature birth isn't clear. However, there are known risk factors of premature delivery. These include having a previous premature birth, pregnancy with twins, triplets or other multiples, an interval of less than 6 months between the pregnancies, conceiving through in vitro fertilization that is IVF, then problems with the uterus, cervix or the placenta, smoking cigarettes or using illicit drugs, some infections particularly of the amniotic fluid and lower genital tract. Some chronic conditions such as high blood pressure and diabetes, being underweight or overweight before the pregnancy. Stressful life events such as death of a loved one or domestic violence, multiple miscarriages or abortion. Then physical injury or trauma. For unknown reasons, black women are more likely to experience premature birth than are the women of other races. But premature birth can happen to anyone. In fact, many women who have a premature birth have no known risk factors. Now I will briefly discuss the health complications in premature babies. While not all premature babies experience complications, but being born too early can cause short-term and long-term health problems. Generally, the earlier a baby is born, the higher the risk of complications. And birth weight plays an important role too. In the first few weeks of life, the complications of premature birth may include number 1. Breathing problems. A premature baby may have trouble breathing due to an immature respiratory system. Breathing problems include apnea of prematurity, it is also called AOP. Now this is a pause in breathing for 15 to 20 seconds or more. It may happen together with a slow heart rate which is called bradycardia. Then is the bronchopulmonary dysplasia. It is a lung disease that can develop in premature babies as well as babies who have treatment with a breathing machine. Babies with bronchopulmonary dysplasia have a higher risk of lung infections than other babies and this may sometimes lead to lung damage. Next is respiratory distress syndrome. It is also called RDS. Now if a baby has RDS, her lungs can't make enough of a substance which is called surfactant. Surfactant is a slippery substance that keeps the small air sacs in a baby's lung from collapsing. Now the second important problem in premature babies is heart problem. The most common heart problems premature babies experience are patent ductus arteriosus that is PDA and low blood pressure that is hypotension. Now ductus arteriosus is a blood vessel between the aorta and the pulmonary artery. PDA happens when ductus arteriosus doesn't close properly. The ductus arteriosus helps the blood go around a baby's lung before birth. Once a baby is born, her lungs fill with air and the ductus arteriosus isn't needed anymore and usually closes on its own a few days after the birth. If it doesn't close properly, too much blood may flow into the lungs. Now left untreated, PDA can lead to a heart murmur, heart failure, breathing problems, as well as other complications. Now premature babies may also develop low blood pressure. It may require adjustment in intravenous fluid, medicines and sometimes blood transfusions. Now third important complication is the brain problem and this is intraventricular hemorrhage or IVH. Now the earlier a baby is born, the greater the risk of bleeding in the fluid spaces. These are the ventricles of the brain and so it is called intraventricular hemorrhage. Most hemorrhages are mild and resolve with little short-term impact, but some babies may have larger brain bleeding that cause permanent brain injury. Now, fourth important complication in premature babies is temperature control problems. Premature babies can lose body heat rapidly. They don't have the stored body fat of a full-term infant and they can't generate enough heat 
to counteract what's lost through the surface of their body. If body temperature dips too low, an abnormally low core body temperature that is hypothermia can result. Hypothermia in a premature baby can lead to breathing problems and low blood sugar levels. In addition, a premature infant may use up all of the energy gained from feeding just to stay warm. That's why smaller premature infants require additional heat from a warmer or an incubator until they are larger and able to maintain body temperature without assistance. Now next is gastrointestinal problems. Premature infants are more likely to have immature gastrointestinal system resulting in complications such as necrotizing enterocolitis. Now this is potentially a very serious condition, in this the cells lining the bowel wall are injured and this can occur in premature babies after they start feeding. Now premature babies who receive only breast milk have a much lower risk of developing the necrotizing enterocolitis. Now next is the blood problems. Premature babies are at risk of blood complications such as anemia and newborn jaundice. Anemia is when a baby doesn't have enough healthy red blood cells to carry oxygen to the rest of the body. Anemia can cause low level of oxygen and glucose in a baby's blood and make it hard for a baby's organ to work properly. While all newborn experiences low drop in red blood cell count during the first month of life, the decrease may be greater in premature babies. Another blood problem is jaundice. Newborn jaundice is a yellow discoloration in the baby's skin and eyes. It is caused by the buildup of a substance called bilirubin in your baby's blood. Jaundice happens when a baby's liver isn't fully developed or isn't working well. While there are many causes of jaundice, it is more common in preterm babies. Now, next complication in premature babies is metabolic problems. Premature babies often have problems with their metabolism. Some premature babies may develop an abnormally low level of blood sugar that is hypoglycemia. This can happen because premature infants typically have small stores of stored glucose than do the full-term babies. Premature babies also have more difficulty converting their stored glucose into more usable active form of glucose. Another important complication in the premature babies is infections or neonatal sepsis. Premature babies can get infection more easily than other babies because their immune system aren't fully developed. The immune system protects your body from infection. Now infection in premature babies can lead to sepsis and this is when the body has an extreme response to infection and the sepsis can be life threatening. Now the long term complications of the premature birth. First is cerebral palsy. It is a disorder of movement, muscle tone or posture. It can be caused by infection, inadequate blood flow or injury to a newborn's developing brain. It can happen either early during the pregnancy or while the baby is still young and immature. Second important long term complication is impaired learning. Premature babies are more likely to lag behind their full term counterparts on various developmental milestones. Born school age, a child who was born prematurely might be more likely to have learning disabilities. Next is the vision problems. Premature infants may develop retinopathy of prematurity. It is a disease that occurs when blood vessels swell and overgrow in the light sensitive layer of nerves at the back of the eye, which is called retina. Sometimes the abnormal retinal vessels gradually scar the retina, pulling it out of the position. When the retina is pulled away from the back of the eye, it is called retinal detachment. It is a condition that if undetected can impair vision and can cause blindness. Next is the hearing problems. Premature babies are at increased risk of some degree of hearing loss. So all premature babies will have their hearing checked before going home. Now next is dental problems. Premature infants who have been critically ill are at increased risk of developing dental problems. This may include delayed tooth eruption, tooth discoloration and improperly aligned teeth. Now next is the behavior and psychological problems. Children who experience premature birth may be more likely than full term infants to have certain behavior and psychological problems as well as developmental delays. 
and the last important complication is chronic health issues. Premature babies are more likely to have chronic health issues, some of which may require hospital care. Infections, asthma and feeding problems are more likely to develop or persist. Premature infants are also at increased risk of sudden infant death syndrome. Ok friends, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more informative health videos.